So uh, we are now recording and um, Darcy, will you um, be willing to do the minutes as usual or? Oh yeah, sure. Okay, that'd be great. Um, okay, so uh, really nice to see everybody. Let's just start with our review of the minutes. I'm assuming folks had a chance to take a look at those um, and either Carolyn or Tom, unless you have any comments or anyone else has any comments on them. <clears throat> Do we want to move forward to approve the minutes of 4723? I'm sure we do. Do you want to make the motion, Carolyn? I uh, sure <laughs> move to approve the minutes. <laughs> I will second that. Okay, and then by voice vote, Thompson. Yes. Mish. Yes. And I'm also yes. Great. All right get that out of the way. Um, so I sent you all the very um, detailed email from Marlena Patton on all of our next steps and all of the materials that we need to move forward. So um, I guess the first thing, um, we had a few to-do items. And the first thing was to um, look at the municipal web page content. So I'm actually going to just share my screen. Um, just to make sure we are all good with that. So, <clears throat> okay, can everybody see that? Yes. Okay. Yep. So nice to see our logo actually up <laughs> for real. Um, so the only thing that I noticed was, um, I think Amherst at one point was listed as a city because even though it's technically called the town of Amherst, technically it's a city, but we go by the town of Amherst. So I just need to make sure that's consistent. Um, did any, was there anything else on here that anybody had any comments about? Were people overall good with the language? I was, yes. Yeah. Okay. Darcy and Adele, any comments? Are you good? Um, I'm actually not listening. Okay. Can you page through the uh, document? Sure. <clears throat> Just let me know when I wasn't sure if you were reading or not. So. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> This is the outreach plan? No, no. This is the web page content. Each community oh. has to put language up on their website. Remember, that's the requirement by the DPU that we have it. Um, it has to exist in perpetuity, and it has to be easily readily accessible when someone goes onto the town's websites or community's websites. They need to be able to mm -hmm. see this right away, this information, um, and have access to it. So these are all, all of the documents that are listed here are all required to be here by the DPU. But we're just going to be pointing to this website so that effectively we're not um, storing these documents on our individual right. site. They're going to be stored in the cloud at this web location. Right. So when someone clicks on these, they're actually leaving our municipal websites and going to the Valley Green Energy page, which is where they're going to live. So the document, so the document will open. It just won't open on our site. It'll open on their site. <clears throat> and here's where um, we just need to change this to town clerk's office, which I will make a note of. But that's pretty much it there. Um, so it's a lot of blanks. Yeah, the, well, the blanks are just the what we have to talk about next. Um, yeah. I'm not sure what the lot of blanks are. I mean, those are just we have to give them when we have it, we have to give them the email addresses. So that's just stuff we have to provide. This is just a template for everybody to use. So we're going to be each one of us is filling these things in. Mm -hmm. 
And as far as the only real blank for us as a group are the dates here, and that's the next thing on our agenda. So um, if everyone is good before I move on to that, is everyone good with this then? Yes. Yes. Okay, great. <clears throat> All right, I'm gonna stop sharing. And let's see. So, um, oh, sorry, where to receive comments. There was, um, I just wanted to point that out because mm -hmm. that was one of the mm -hmm. blanks, but each community has to identify where people should be sending their comments to. So when we open up the 30 day period, um, what's listed there is the town clerk's office or the city clerk's office. Does that make sense for you two? Or if you have alternatives, you'll just have to let um, Mass Power Choice know. Um, so, um, I think it would be cleaner if it came to our office because otherwise, well, um, actually, let me think about this for a second. Public comment. Um, for this 30 day period is officially sent to the communities, but then we have to incorporate that as part of our submittal to DPU, all the public comments go. Correct. Um, I'm just trying to think if, um, Submitting public comments means that it's um, officially something that the clerk has to track. And if that's the case, then maybe it makes sense to have it go to the city clerk in Northampton. If it's not the case, then it's probably easier for it to just to come to our office. Um, okay, we can find, I can get clarification on that if it yeah. needs to be officially tracked or not. I mean, because they, I assumed yes, because of the fact that they deferred to the clerk's office, but that might be in, you know, in other smaller communities. Right. That might just be the default of where all information goes. So. Right. Yeah. But uh, do the comments submitted have to be available to the public? I, I would guess so. And in, in which case, uh, where are the, where is the public going to have access to the comments that have been submitted? Probably on the Valley Green Energy site. Okay. But I, I would imagine we could keep our own. I mean, if we get, if we receive comments, our communications director is great. And we have um, we have the Engage Amherst uh, website, which, you know, when there's um, a project, that's a place where people can go to get information and to leave comments. So that might be like a logical place for us to track um or at least post comments too. If they have to be officially tracked, we probably do want them to go to the clerk's office. If they don't, then engage Amherst would suffice, I would think, for but, us. Uh, did you say, I'm sorry, is this gonna be on the Valley Green Energy site that these comments, I mean? I think they can, think they could be in both. I, I mean, each. Okay. I would think each community is gonna to wanna to have their own comments available to the public, right? So on our page, okay. We're, you know, that one page that we have to create. Yeah. Um, we can have a place to maybe view public comment <clears throat> on that page. Yeah. I don't know that it's required, but we could um, have something on that page. But I think comments are also going to be going to Valley Green to Mass Power Choice or the Valley Green Energy site. They're going to probably want to have them as well. Yeah. And I, my guess is most of them are going to come in electronically. Um, yeah. And so, you know, we have, we'd all just have to make a note because we'll, we can set up easily from our site, we can set up where there's public access to, you know, we can set up a database folder that the public has access to just for those comments. Um, and then I can imagine that we can just ship those comments um, or mirror them, I suppose, send them to the Valley Green Energy site, but also ship them to, um, as part of that uh, 
DPU requirement that we would just have a folder of those electronically. In fact, if they come in in paper, we're just going to scan them anyway and put them in and make them an electronic cop, um, um, electronic submittal mm -hmm. as it is. So yeah. um, I, I think ultimately they'll all be electronic that come into Northampton. Right. I mean, yeah, ours will be too. Anything that if we got anything written, we would scan it and include it in a yeah. file. So, yeah. um, so I, you know, we'll probably do a very similar thing. And I don't know if um, I think those comments will have to be part of the application package too. So yeah. I think um, Mass Power Choice is going to have to have all of that information. So um, it won't be our responsibility to get it to DPU. They'll just have to gather it from us to get it to DPU. Or we'll have to send it to the to them, right? As part of the application yeah. package. Yeah. So, um, Tom, how are you feeling on your end about Pelham? Uh, I mean, we just need to cr create a a link on the web page, um, and then I I do think that tracking them in both places is the the best way to go, so that. If, if you know, I only care about the 1,355 people in Pelham, then you can just go and look at the Pelham site. But if you're interested in the broader group, then that would be the place where they would be housed. Yeah, I agree. I think it would be good for the um, VGE site to have everything, to have all mm -hmm. the comments so people can mm -hmm. see what other communities' responses were. So, um, all right. Well, we can we can double check too to make sure that they're going to that they are going to house those comments. I would think they are, but we'll just make sure. So I'm making a note for a question. So I think maybe for, I think, um, the more I think about this, I think I want the comments to come into the planning office and that I would even put in terms of email, it could just be emailed to me. Um, and then just have the address of the planning office for any hard copy comments as opposed to going to the clerks. Okay, so I think just, I think the thing to do then is to just send, um, or, or in that document, in the draft of that document, you could add that information because you're gonna have to have it on your website anyway, yeah. right? When you put your web yep. page together, you're gonna have to put that address in. I mean, that's for each community to put their address in. So I'll double check, I just wanna double check here on our end yeah. where we think I'll, talk to our communications director uh, and the town clerk and see what they both think in terms of the best place for comments to come to. I mean, they can certainly come to me too. That's not a, not a problem. Yeah. Okay. And Tom, I think obviously in your case, it's going to have to be some, it's probably going to have to be the clerk's office. Yeah, that's, that's all there is. So, yeah. <laughs> so maybe you just want to verify that and just make sure, you know, um, I think what we could do is like when we get the addresses, that um, that template web page document, what would probably be easiest is like to fill in the blanks of the addresses that are required and just um, send them to me so I can put all three together and get them to over to um, to Marlena. So when you know, when you confirm your addresses, just uh, fill in that page, that template page, send it to me and I'll get it over to Marlena for all three communities. I'll just send them all at once so they have it. So this, the you're, you're referring to the template page as the one that we are just viewing on the screen yes. of Valley Green Energy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Municipal yeah. website, yeah. Yeah, so just all it needs, I mean, really all that's needed there are just like a couple of web addresses, that's all. Yeah. So, um, you know, just like complete your page as it's going to, you know, as it's going to appear, whatever, and then I'll um, get all the addresses over to Marlena. So I would say, and if you could do that, like within, you know, within the week, because I know you're going to have to check. I know if like for Tom, for you, it's going to be harder to sort of coordinate with people because you're not right at town hall. So um, if we could say like by next Friday, this could be, we could have this information sure. together. Sure. So that's uh, just to put a fine point on it. The, the opening line of the uh, website draft is the, the city town of name is collaborating with the communities of other community names. So we every every 
one of the three will have their own version of that page in other words is exactly that, right exactly okay. that's exact because that's the page so when we when when dpu required that we have a website a web page this is the page this is the content for that page so we're not having all we're having to do is make sure that the town has this whole form you know has a page that has all of okay. this information and you can literally cut and paste it fill in the blanks ad adopt it to your community yep. yep and that's the requirement and then it has to live and again remember it has to live on the website in perpetuity it has to be somewhere um, accessible like the to get to that page with all that information has to be readily accessible like as soon as someone gets on your web page your main site there has to be a link to that where that's visible so people can get to it they can't like it shouldn't require people to be looking to find it mm -hmm. that's a very very important piece that marlena stressed wait say that again what do you mean they can't have to look to find it so when someone goes to your web page your main web page there should mm -hmm. be like an easy accessible link to like valley green energy okay. click here it can't okay. be it's embedded it be on the where they have page. to do a search yes it has okay. to be they can't have to do it they shouldn't have to do a search for it so right so i mean they still might have to click on it to get to the page content but yeah they don't but it shouldn't be they have to it do a search the, to get there yeah Okay. Right, exactly. And again, it also and it's not something that can just be up temporarily, it has to live there in perpetuity for like as long as we have this program running, it has to be always on that main page. It can't. Oh, it does. It, yes. It can't be embedded somewhere else. So hey. Yeah, I think the town of Pelham, um, we're listing it under the energy committee page. So I'm not, I'm thinking that that doesn't comply with what you're saying here, Stephanie. I mean, all you need on the main page is just to say, just to have a link, you know, okay. it just has to be okay. like Valley Green Energy, click here, Okay. you know, and that's all it needs to be. It doesn't have to be like a big logo or, I mean, you might want to have the logo that would be probably good to have the logo with a click here um, and then it would bring them to that page with all of the documents and all of the the links and we don't have the link to the valley green energy site yet because the domain is not going to be uh, even though it expired april 27th it's not actually available there's like a 30-day grace period for the current owner of the domain so it's not actually officially available until May 27th. So that page can't even go up until May 27th. So. So don't make ours, we could set the page up, but don't have a live link until correct. May 27th. Yeah, okay. until, yeah, or just, just after. Okay. All right, then I'm saying so I said next Friday, if we could, if we could have, you know, our pages, if that seems doable, if there's any problem, just let us know. But if so, again, having them ready, they don't have to be up and live, they just have to be ready to go live when the VGAE site is ready. But we, the only problem with this is it doesn't, uh, right, we we'll, we need the link to the VGAE. Wait, do we have a link to the VGE site? No, because it's not okay. set not up live. yet. Right. It's yeah. not live so yet. So that's the only, that would be sort of the last thing to plug into the links on our web page before this web page could go live is making those links active. Right. Exactly. Okay. All right. So. All right, and as far as so the where to receive comments again so just you know when you have this information like by next Friday. Um, all I need is really just kind of a screenshot of it, um, or you could send me yeah just send me a screenshot of it. Or just send me the information you don't even have to doesn't even have to be the actual web page, but just send me that information and i'll get it to Marlena. Next week. 
Sound good? Okay. Yeah, yeah, I just okay. want to, I'm sorry, just, um, so we need a button on the main page of the website that people could click on as opposed to right now, if you want, we have a fairly nice little um, uh, page on the Valley Green Energy with the history of everything that we've sent over, but it needs to come forward. There needs to be a button right on the home page. Is that accurate? Yeah, it just needs to be able to link to that information. And you don't, okay. I mean, the so the button doesn't need to exist right now. That's like, no, I know, comes I later. Know. We just need the content. Right. But yes, on, right. on the page, on the main page, there should be like, you know, just a, a, a link to get to that information. Okay. And it'll be your, like, it would be your, you know, it can be the page on your site. But then there'll be a Valley Green Energy link on your web page with your content. There'd be a link to Valley Green Energy page as mm -hmm. well mm -hmm. when that goes live. And that's when that's where all the other, you know, the actual aggregation information okay. will live. So if this is going to go live, what uh, May 27th, then the comments need to be received or um by June 27th. No. Right? So oh. no. The the domain will it's just the domain will um be freed up by May 27th. So in order for the comment period to start, Valley Green Energy website has to be live. It's not going to be live until May 27th. Okay. So the earliest that we can start the comment period is May 28th. But I don't suggest we do that. No. That's a Sunday, right? Yes, <laughs> I yeah. think so. And then so. there's a holiday, so maybe it's the 30th. Well, I'm thinking June 1st, like make it clean and oh, just yeah. make it June yeah, yeah. 1st okay. and just have it be the entire month of June. Okay. So then we would say that they must be received by July 1st because that's well, part of the submit comment thing. Isn't it June? They'd have 30 days. So wouldn't it be June 30th is the last date for a comment? Uh, June yeah, 1st through June 30th. Yeah. Okay. Okay, June 1st to June 30th. Okay, so I think then that dictates our public comment period, right? So we're saying public comment will start June 1st. Is everybody okay with that? Because if we know that the website isn't even going to be available until May 27th, and I don't know what Marlena, I mean, I think Marlena has everything kind of teed up and kind of ready to go, but um I mean, as you say, it's a holiday weekend, so it makes more sense to start the comment period June 1st because yeah. people will be back and then we can really start um, reaching people. So, so okay with that? Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. All right. Great. That's exciting. Um, let's see. So within that June 1st to June 30th, we need to schedule our public presentation. And remember, this is going to be an online presentation for all three communities. Yep. So we could do it at the very beginning. We could do it at the middle. Um, in some ways, I, I was thinking about this, and I know that you could sort of kick it off, kick off the whole comment period with the with the community meeting, but I was wondering if it makes more sense to like have some public outreach and engagement first and then have it like sort of more in the middle of the month so that you sort of have some community outreach, you know, we'll be sending out information and then you have the public meeting and then you still have a couple of more weeks for comments. Uh, what if folks think about that? When when do you think would make more sense? And I'm, adult worried Darcy. About, um, I'm worried about um, uh, people leaving for summer vacations. So um, I would suggest that maybe as a compromise, we wait one week uh, mm -hmm. after the, the announcements go up. Okay. Let yeah, me... I was thinking it should be probably by June 15th because that's when Northampton schools get out. Yep. And so you might start losing people after that. So June 1st is a Thursday. Thursday, um, June 8th. 
Yeah, so we could do Thursday, June 8th. I, I just have to make sure the mayor is available. Um, yeah, that's the other thing I forgot. Right, we have right. to make sure. Our, yeah. <laughs> oh, our executives. <laughs> yeah. Them. Okay. So, um, so let's then let's tentatively say Thursday, June 8th. Yeah. And I'll just throw out there. I think the school committee typically meets that day, but I, so, you know, we'll, I'll look at the eighth. Um, actually, um, the eighth is planning board as well mm -hmm. in Northampton. So, um, Thursday, we June start, 7th. I mean, Wednesday, okay. June 7th. I can't do that date. We have an ECAC meeting that night. So that won't work. Um, about Tuesday. What, well, I'm thinking, what about when does, what about Monday the 12th? What about doing on Monday? I mean, that's good with me, I think. I have to check and see if there's a town council meeting because Paul oh. have to be there. Right, that's right. Let me, um, Actually, I can see if I can find that. Let me, I'm going to look right now. I don't see the June meetings on their calendar. Yeah, I'm not. Um, although I think they usually do go, let me see, I'm trying to find if. In the past, the first and third Mondays, but oh. it's hard to tell in June because of the budget, you know. It, yeah, it's not scheduled at all. I just looked, the whole month of June is blank. That's they only crazy. scheduled through May. <laughs> yes. So, um, yeah, it's probably, and because it is budget season, it's probably likely, crap. Well, what about, well, there's then there's Tuesday the 13th. Tuesday the 6th or Tuesday the 13th? I, I, I can be good for either of them at the moment. I'm checking to see. How there's any conflict? Uh, as long as it's like at seven on the 13th, that's fine. I mean, if are we talking about a 7 p.m.? That's what I was thinking. Yeah, then I'm fine both of those. Um, if it is six too early or it does, is later better for you? Um, well, on the 13th, I have a meeting that could go till six. And then, so we could start at 6.30 would be that preferable if it's going to be the 13th. Yeah, I'm thinking, you know, a little earlier might be like 6.30ish might be better, 6.30 to 8.30. Because I think it's a two, I think it's a two hour meeting, but we'll find if it's seven, if it's only an hour meeting, then we could do seven to eight. But if it's two hours, let's do 6.30 to 8.30. And so are we looking at the 13th in particular or the 6th? Um, I was looking at the 13th. Okay. That's probably also the NESC meeting, but that's ends by before six. Okay. Right. So Tuesday, June 13th, um, seven, if an hour, 6.30, if two. And I'll confirm this with um, Paul and Marlena. And they'll be, I mean, other than the, I think the, each of the executives will be asked to say something. So um, Tom, the Pelham Select Board Chair will be asked to say something. Um, For sure. And, and I'm sorry, say those dates again. So we're looking at Tuesday, June 13th. 
Okay. There's a planning board meeting. I don't know if Bob has to be at that or not, but I'll oh, find out. What time does that start? Seven o'clock. <laughs> right. Okay. Um, okay. Do they have one every Tuesday? Because uh, if not, then we could move it to the 6th. Yeah, there's a housing. I mean, I, I, it looks like there's something. It's just a matter of whether the chair attends every one of those or not. How about this? Why don't we, I'm, and we should probably give our executives options. So why don't we say either Tuesday the 6th or Tuesday the 13th and see which works better for them. See if we can get, okay. we'll just ask them if they're available on both those dates. And if not, then we'll figure it out. But let me know as soon as possible. Will do. So, but give them both options and it's either 6.30 or 7. And I'll find, I'll find out, but actually before you reach out to them, let me find out from Marlena and Paul. Mm -hmm. And I also, we need to make sure, yeah, we need to make sure they're available too. So, okay. Okay, we'll find out. Okay, all right. Great. All right. So we'll do some outreach about that. Um, let's see what else. Um, great. We've got our dates done. I'm going to put up, um, are there any questions then about this before I move on? Okay. So I'm just going to open up the um, education and outreach plan. It's the final version. I just want to give one last go over to make sure that we're clear about what we're um, responsible to do because when this public period begins, we have to start getting information out. So let me just share my screen. Oh, you're not looking at that yet, sorry. There we go. Okay. So I know we've seen this before. So um, really what I wanted to just make sure was that the things that we have listed for the organizations and news outlets that we're going to contact that we feel solid with these and there's not a red flag on anything that you feel like we wouldn't do for whatever reason. And remember, we can always do more. If there's other agencies that aren't right. listed here, we can still reach out to them. But is it is it better for our application for so if there are different additional agencies that we would no we reach? don't want to put them on okay well at this point I think this is like the baseline okay. right um and we in fact we amended it a little bit we changed it and took some out because we have to do we have to contact every single agency or news outlet that's listed here or whatever we say we're going to do we have to do so this is the have to list um can you page down yep i'm just making sure carolyn were you going to comment on something or yeah i don't know um i would say northampton open media isn't a newspaper um but mass, we might want to add, replace that with Mass Live. I think, um, I thought Mass Live was on here. Uh, oh, it's not. There it is. Interesting. Yeah, it is. Oh, yeah. Under web. Oh, there it is. Uh, right. Web yeah. base. Yeah, yeah. Right here. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So do you, but do you want to leave Northampton Open Media or do you want to take that off? I mean, you can leave it. Um, I don't know. I mean, I don't know what notifying send to the local newspapers is um i think they look at our calendars anyway i mean it, it can't hurt to have them on but yeah. they're I not mean, sort of a typical yeah. um, media outlet we have to prove that we're getting information to them okay okay so if you do so if you do like just as a matter of course and i know we do this here that if you have a press release you just have your list of organizations that they go out to just it's a sort of routine 
the same list. It just goes out to a whole bunch of news organizations in one message. You know, it's all sent at once. Um, so what you would have to do is just list what those agencies are. So you would have what the, what the message was and that it was sent to all these messages, all these news agencies. And you could even just have a copy of the email. Yeah. So. Okay. Stephanie, should we, should we add the Emerson Indy? Um, it's in here. I saw it. It is? Yeah, it's right here. Web-based news oh, agencies. Oh, it's cool. on there. Good. Yeah, yeah there. I think there's an equivalent one in Northampton, isn't there? Like shoestring or something like that? Shoestring, yep. But we don't, I mean, at this yeah. point, I don't know that we need to add to this. I'm sort of thinking are the things we want to take off because we can still right. do it, but this is like the have to. So, I mean, if you would normally contact them anyway, you'll probably be contacting them unless you absolutely want to make sure that they're contacted. So. What about moving the Northampton Open Media to um, either uh, television stations or um, cable access? Because it's not a it's not a newspaper, and the yeah. heading is newspapers. Okay. Yeah, that could go under a local cable access because that's basically what it is. Okay. Well, then we could take it out and not even list it at all because we have local cable access right here uh -huh. and like it doesn't have to so it doesn't have to list what they are it's just your local cable access if that is what that is then you don't have to list it at all okay okay that sounds good okay so i'm getting rid of that all right so i'm writing i just want to make sure melina knows I'm just noticing that newspapers of New England, that's a single entity. No, I think I don't, <clears throat> excuse me. No, I think they were just saying, I I don't know, maybe regional newspapers. I don't know where that came from. Hmm. Does well, anybody I else would say that could be <laughs> taken out? <laughs> I agree. Yeah, that's if we don't know what it is. We wouldn't be sending it to them anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Oops. I thought they owned the Gazette, and uh, I'm just looking now. Maybe not. Newspapers of New England? Yeah, maybe not. You just deleted the heading. Um, I know. It's right here. It's right there. No. Here, let me go back. The yeah. local cable access needs some heading. Oh, it's right here. There you go. Perfect. <clears throat> All right. Um, okay, so we lost Lose New England P Public Media and what was it? New England? What did I just delete? New England uh, newspapers. New newspapers. Because what the hell is that? <laughs> okay. And um, next door, Pelham. Um, why just Pelham? Because well, I'm the only one who suggested it. I think. <laughs> no. it, it, it says <laughs> official so, official social media posts. So I don't. I doubt that next door Pelham is official. Oh yeah, it is. Well, I. But it's a it's a thing, but it's not the a Pelham. It's just the next door. You're right. I think you're right, yeah. Adele. Yeah. Um, next door, happy. Yeah, it says official it's municipal there. social media accounts. Right. Oh, that's so not they have. We have Pelham has an account on on next door. That's that's where that came from. Oh. Okay. The town does. Which yeah, I could see. I could see why. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, see, so you, you guys want to know what New England newspapers is? Yes. The Berkshire Eagle, the Bennington Banner, the Brattleboro Reformer, and the weekly Manchester Journal. So not it doesn't cover our region. No, 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 yeah. here, right. I wonder if that was just left over from somebody else's. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Is um, Amherst, or, do we have Amherst neighbors and Northampton neighbors in there? I don't think so um 
because they have really become a big thing in the last year. Yeah, I think so. Again, we can do anything. I think, yeah. you know, this is just kind of the baseline list. We could definitely make sure that it goes out to them, but we don't absolutely have to list it. So another sort of consolidation, New England Public Radio is part of New England Public Media, right? Yes, but I don't know, yeah, I don't know why. I think media is the umbrella and radio is underneath it, right? Right, but if we, presumably if we blast to the media, it's gonna go both both radio and television. Right. Yeah, isn't WAMC part of New England Public uh -uh. Media? No. no, they're in their their own. Alan Shar talk got yes. his domain. I know. <laughs> he lives in Mass. He lives in Massachusetts. Does he really? I didn't know. Yeah, that. yeah. I know someone who used to work there. Um, okay, so well, I I mean I you know I don't. Do you want to consolidate or does it matter? It doesn't matter. I mean, we're just sort of um, nitpicking at this point. If yeah. So I just wanted to make sure if there are things like we saw, like what we did take out, if there are anything that sort of was glaring. I think the idea was that we, you know, we did sort of try to, um, you know, sort of make this broader categories because we had a much longer list and we lost a lot of stuff. We got rid of whole sections. So um, so if we're good with this as the baseline, because again, mm -hmm. we can always do more. And if we think of more, you know, we'll we'll get it out to them. I'm not opposed to sending it out to more folks. Just, just for everybody here, I don't know if you need to change, but the town of Pelham is uh, a member of next door. So it just says next door Pelham down there. You could maybe put in next door town of Pelham. Okay. If, just to be clear that because they we post jobs and school notices and meeting notices and all that stuff. Oh, okay. All right. So let me just yeah. <clears throat> it would be nice if local energy advocates was listed on here because we have been asked by this group to do outreach for this. <laughs> um and you know, we sort of view ourselves as partner. So it would be nice. And that's, you know, we brought it up at every every meeting for um, the last few months to, you know, as a big task that we're going to undertake for local energy advocates, getting it out to our list and all of their lists and everything. So we're, I mean, and again, I mean, we can do that. I don't, I'm just trying to see if where, because then we start putting other, we had other agencies specifically listed and then we lost it. We just decided not to list specific agencies. I know why you all stand out, but where do you, where would we put that? I mean, I, unless well, actually, I, you know, there's yeah. more further down. It would be down below. Down here. Yeah. Maybe, yeah if, why don't we put it here? Do we actually, do we already have it? We don't have it. We so we don't. could just add it here. Yeah. It should be in this list. Here, I'll even put it as number one. <laughs> Very nice. There. Okay. I'm just making a note of what we did. Okay. Um, All right, so the, yeah, so these are the agencies. I don't think we want to expand this much more. Again, we can do more, but I don't want to list more personally uh -uh. beyond Well, it that. says exemplar anyway, so um, it's just meant to be the types of organizations, I think. Yes. And I'm sure we can think of many more that can help us. Yeah, we did have many more. I think we consolidated this list, <laughs> so, um, okay. So that's just an exemplar list, but we have you up there. You're number one. <laughs> so Thanks. you're welcome. Um, 
Um, okay, I don't know that there was anything else. Um, oh, actually this list too. And this is more for the program launch. Once the program is, I mean, we're a ways from this, but when the program actually launches for real, this is the, you know, we'll, it's sort of similar to the, the list up above. It's kind of repetitive of what we listed for news agencies and outlets above. And then we should just make the same changes down here that yeah. were above with the open media and newspapers of New England and all that. Yeah, I'm gonna get, so I'll get rid of these two. Actually, did I get, did we get rid of Northampton open media or did we just move it? Moved it to, um, uh, yeah, I got rid of it because it's part of uh, public access. Okay. Um, Do you have the list of groups that, like you had in the last one? No, that was just sort of an exemplar list for outreach. This this is actually like when the program actually launches. Um, so it's not it doesn't repeat the list of agent of potential agencies. And again, it was just an exemplar list. But so. this is not for public comment. This is for um, a press release. This is press releases, correct. Yeah. This is when the program actually starts. So, um, okay, so we made those minor edits. So I think we're good. Um, Stephanie, can you just scroll down to that timeline toward the bottom here? Yep. So if we do our meeting, our public meeting, we're, we're in negative days as far as day one doesn't happen for a while, right? Um, yes, that is correct. The days that um, we're, so this is, um, yeah. Well, we're saying day one starts June 1st. So the, the, the meeting is not the day one, the day one is June 1st. And that's when we start getting information up and out. So, um, will we be will will supply contracts get signed that not that day, right? Uh, oh, In other words, no, I guess is, the I'm question sorry, this is, is this is further yeah. down. This is not the this is not the public outreach. Right, timeline. that's what I was getting. I, I guess what yeah. I'm wondering is, and I don't know if we know the answer, but we're going to do the public meeting. The webs at what point? Does everybody get switched over if they haven't opted out? Not until the application gets approved by the DPU. Oh, so two years. Two years. <laughs> two years. Yeah. yeah. Because what happens Terrible. is June 30th, well, hopefully it won't be that long. So June 30th, when we're done with our public comment, yeah. at the very first week of July or whenever is when they can then submit, submit. the application to DPU. And so, didn't I see Andrew or Adele or somebody shared? Some, did did the did Governor Healy take some action to try to get this expedited recently? Did I see that? Yeah, the appointment of two new commissioners who right. are who are on our side, basically. Right. Uh, of the three, so that's good. So, and there's um, pending legislation, um, but who knows when that would get acted upon? Could be at the end, very end of the two-year session. That's exactly. <laughs> that would require uh, the DPU to adhere to a 90-day timeline. And I just have a quick question. What, what, uh, um, what the people can respond to, say if you just saw a notice on June 1st about this public comment period, if you wanted to find out what you were commenting on, um, what you would have would be the Valley Green Energy website? Yes. Um, so that's basically. The documents that were listed, I'm gonna go back. Are we done? Can I go out yeah. of this document? Yeah. Okay, bear with me one second here. Oops. Page 
page content. There we go. Um, All right, so this document, which is the content that will be on each of our pages, mm -hmm. this is the information that folks will have initial um, access to. These documents are kind of the crux of the outreach period. These are the things that people could um, have access to and comment on. That's what's available for review and comment. And the date will be June 30th and until so June 30th. They'll have that both on their local websites and on the Valley Green Energy website. Correct. Correct. So they could click this, they, they could click these open on our website, but it lives on the Valley Green Energy. These documents will all live on the Valley Green Energy website. So it's being set up so that they just when they click on this link, it's actually taking them to Valley Green Energy. Okay. And that hasn't been completed yet. Mar that's still within, um, Marlon is working on that, right? Yeah, she's working on all this. Yep, yeah. so that's why she just needs, you know, she just needs some information from us. So now that we have, this is great that we have, we can give her our date. So we'll, you know, find, we'll have to find out from our, executives what dates work for them and from Marlena and Paul. So assumingly this date will be either June 8th or or June, I'm sorry, June 8th, 6th, 6th or June 13th, 13th. sorry. <laughs> Too many dates on my notes here. Um, June 6th or 13th. Um, and then the date, um, then we'll have that, the link will be um, when we, you know, set up whatever the Zoom meeting link is gonna be, that will be the link here. And, um, and that'll be coordinated with uh, Marlena and Paul. And then the date will be, this date will be June 30th. Cause we're saying that's, we have 30 days for people to comment. So they have until June 30th. So. So we have a local energy advocates meeting on Tuesday. Are we firm enough in what we're saying to be able to con to, for us to convey that to the attendees? I think so. I just need to, let me double check to make sure that those dates are all good. Like Marlena's clear that she'll have right. everything up and ready for June 1st. I think she will because she's been working on it. I mean, I think we need to make sure the communities are gonna have their, I mean, ostensibly we'll have our pages ready by next Friday. I mean, all we have to do is put a draft page together with this information. So it's shouldn't take long. Um, the thing that I'm not sure about are the dates for the meeting that June right. 6th or 13th. You could say they're tentative dates, but we don't know yet because we don't even know if either of those are going to work. I don't okay. know if it's going to work with Mass Power Choice, and I don't know if it's going to work with our right. executives. So we don't want to say that, but I think we could say we're fairly confident that June 1st to June 30th would be the public comment period. Okay. Are, are we confirming mass power choice kind of in parallel with our executives availability? That's what I'm, yeah, that's yeah. what I'm okay. checking on. I'm checking on, yeah, I'll check on their okay. availability. I'm going to, as soon as this, well, I have another meeting, but as soon as this meeting is over, I'm going to try to summarize some stuff for them. I need to get them the updated education and outreach plan and, um, and this information about dates. Yeah. I need to run to my next meeting, but I'm on it. Stephanie, Carolyn, okay. Adele, Andra, thank you. Sure. So thank you all so much. Um, we should probably end anyway, because I need to get uh, going for my other meeting. So um, so let's just say right now we won't have a meeting next Friday, but let's have next Friday is the date that we have our web page information. Carolyn and Tom, if you can get that to me. Sounds good. Yep. And availability. And I'll do the same. And avail and availability. Um, yep. Availability. If you can get to me sooner, sooner than sooner, sooner yeah. would be better for that piece. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'll great. work on it. All right. Thank you. Thank you all so much. Have a great, great weekend. Thanks. Thanks. Bye bye. Bye. bye.